Welcome to another AI Practitioner Exam Byte, reviewing the question from the previous episode, which of the following statements about generative AI is false? The answer is A. Generative AI always produces consistent outputs given the same input. One of the disadvantages of generative AI is its non-determinism, meaning that it might produce different outputs each time, even when given the same input. This can be an issue in applications requiring consistency, although, as I did mention, this can also be seen as an advantage in applications which need creativity and diversity in responses. Today, we are going to be looking at the exam objective, understand various factors to select appropriate generative AI models. For example, model types, performance requirements, capabilities, constraints, and compliance. First up, let's talk about model types. Are you working with text, images, or both? For text, you might consider large language models like Anthropic's Claude. For images, you might look into diffusion models like Stable Diffusion. And for both, there are multimodal models like GPT-4. Next, think about your performance needs. How fast does the model need to generate responses? And what about accuracy? Consider factors like latency, throughput, and the quality of outputs. In terms of capabilities, what specific tasks do you need the model to perform? Some models excel at summarization, others at co-generation, and some are great at creative writing. Make sure the model's capabilities align with your project's goals. Now let's consider your constraints. What's your budget? Larger models often cost more to run. How much computational power do you have access to? Some models require significant GPU resources. Also, think about the size of your data set and whether you need a model that can work with limited data. And lastly, but not least, don't forget about compliance. Depending on your industry and location, you may need to consider data privacy regulations like GDPR or HIPAA. Some models offer better transparency and explainability, which might be crucial for regulatory requirements. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. The best model for your project will depend on balancing all these factors. Let's do a review question. Which of the following is a key factor to consider when selecting an appropriate generative AI model for a project? Is it A, the model's release date? B, the popularity of the model's creators? C, the model's performance requirements? Or D, the number of parameters in the model? Post your answer in the comments and we'll review this in the next episode where we talk about the business value and metrics for generative AI applications. See you then.